first, you have to destroy the checkpoint gate. Then destroy both of the armored rail containers in the terminal. Hey there kids, Medve here, and this is Dirty Bog. At what least the closed beta people? gameplay of it. Um, as you can see, not final representation of our product. Please don't judge us. Yet. What the hell is Dirty Bomb then? Why am I doing this video? Well, Dirty Bomb is the new hip for, team, <laughs> for uh, heavily team based and objective based uh, FPS games. Also, I'm quite hyped about this game actually. And um, some of my Steam friends asked about the review, so here's a review slash experience video, whatever you can call it. So, who develops this game? Um, Splash Damage develops this game. You you might know this name from uh, Wolfenstein Enemy Territory, or Quake Wars, or Bring. Unfortunately, the last two, I mean QB and Bring, died pretty fast. And I wasn't really so sure about this, because by the time I actually bought the game, and I, I bought a computer that can run these games, the game was so bad, I wasn't able to see actual people on servers. I had to play with bots. So, I wasn't really sure about this, especially when I saw the trailer. Holy shit, man. Ecosystem. Ecosystem basically shows where the most people die. This technology is like ancient. He had to use it like six years before this video. Also, they had the guy who created Dust One, the CS map. Do you remember that? Yeah, you probably do remember that. It's the map that it's impossible to attack because it's so unfucking balanced. So I was like, I might really want to sign up for this. But in the end, I was like, man, it's free. What can I lose? So I signed up. And after a whole year, I actually got a key for the Nexon launcher, which is, by the way, the definition of AIDS. Unfortunately, they moved to Steam now. Um, and I was quite amazed. I haven't seen this um, polished netcode before. This has to be the best netcode I've ever seen in my life in a multiplayer game. I played on a US server with like 130 milliseconds of ping and every shot hits, man. Th this is incredible, I haven't seen this kind of stuff, it's it's like voodoo magic. I was really amazed, the, the game was quite balanced, it had a lot of glasses, mercs, all that crap. Um, but let's talk about these, these glasses, because this is the main gameplay. So you have the classic... Uh, glasses. I I haven't played Brink uh, too much, but I played a lot of TF2 and Battlefield, and the game feels like a quite good mixture of uh, TF2 and Battlefield, and also the classes. So you have the classic medic, for example, one of the medics going to heal you with the classic Battlefield. Um, Packs, you throw on the guy and he gets healed. One of the medics gonna gonna heal you with a healing station. It's like a dispenser for TF2. And there's a medic who only heals people who's in her actual aura. Aura. So if you're close to a medic, you're gonna get healed. It's quite fascinating. You also have the, the assault class, and um, the assault class gives you ammunition and uh, most of the time they're going to bomb some places I mean airstrikes and I mean the airstrikes are fucking up you instantly die oh my god I hate airstrikes you also have engineers engineers are most important in uh, um, bomb objectives or the EV which is more like a payload you have to repair the payload and it's much faster with an engineer you can um, defuse bombs and plant bombs a lot faster as an engineer too. 
Um, you have this big, huge guys with with um, big machine guns, sort of like a, a support um, machine guns. You also have grenades or flash grenades, quite useful in a fight. And of course, a sniper who stays back, shoots body shots or headshots. Of course, headshots um, kill instantly, and body shots. Uh, well, you have to uh, shot two body shots to kill a guy. Unfortunately, you have a Rhino, which is kind of a definition of TF2 Heavy. You have to kill the Rhino with two headshots. So it's a classic uh, big dude, slowly moving as a minigun and fucks up your whole house and your family. Um, the, the Alpha used to have a spy, which was banned for some reason. Apparently it was too up. I don't know about it. I pretty much like it. So you have the, the main classes and um, in each class you're gonna have different mercs, as I said. And in each merc you will be able to get cards. So if you like a, a, uh, a merc with good abilities but you don't like the weapons exactly, you're gonna get another card for it. So it's quite fascinating. It's, it's a quite huge meta, to be honest. And um, the alpha uh, theory was that they're going to have a mobile-like system, so every once in a while they're gonna introduce a new merc, like a, like a new hero. Unfortunately, Nexon, yeah, unfortunately Nexon um, has the budget here, so they said that let's create a the classic uh, free-to-play XP system, so it's it's still awesome. You have to grind for the XP and you have to unlock certain mercs, but it might work. It's 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 still quite balanced. It's not. It doesn't feel like a, a classic Nexon pay-to-win game. The graphics are quite good. It's uh, quite similar to to um, Brink. You have this incredibly English environment. It's it's more English than my tea. I just had in the morning. Um, it's more like an overpopulated London area, and everybody fights for his own little little paradise. It's uh, quite of post-apocalyptic, but quite realistic at the same time. Uh, the graphics are quite fine, and despite the graphics are quite good, you're gonna have quite good FPS. I mean, without I'm recording, I get um, fixed 100 uh, FPS in a 5v5 fight. That's quite extraordinary. It looks quite better than, than CSGO and and um, the FPS is a lot more stable. I mean, it's, it's lower than CSGO, but it's more stable. Also, um, uh, I'm not sure who created uh, the FPS config, but I uploaded the FPS config to the community, so if you have an ancient computer, you will be able to stream it or play it with it, with an actual higher FPS. The two things I really liked about the game, one thing is the respawn system it actually shows you when you will respawn if you die. Uh, for example, if you have 10 seconds before um, respawning, you can do a rush with your teammates. And for example, within 8 seconds, you're going to die, but after 2 seconds, you're gonna respawn again, and you haven't lost too much time for this rush. It's quite interesting. The other thing is, uh, the game doesn't use bright skins, like in Quake. Although, it uses an advanced um, light system on the characters, on both teammates and on both enemy uh, units. The enemies are always uh, orange and the teammates are always blue. Um, it feels more like a classic shooter. You can 
in Dino Sight, I mean, you, you had the option. You can use the Iron Sight, but it's more like a classic uh, hit fire shooting game. Um, especially because most of the guns doesn't have too much uh, recoil. For example, Skyhammer, which I haven't played in this gameplay. And um, what's the verdict on this game? I'm, as you can as you can hear, I'm quite uh, amazed by this game. So I'm gonna go with yeah, go try it out, man. Go try it out, especially because it already has a small community made by the evexzone.com. People actually coming up for Teamspeak. We actually make mixes uh, with the upcoming um, matchmaking um, um, service. So it's it's quite fascinating. Unfortunately, it's Nexon. So you might get um, banned in Asia, for example, because Asians cannot play this game. I don't know why. And um, the game might get a little pay to win at some point, which I'm a bit afraid. But I'm gonna still go with play it. It's going to be free, so what can you lose? As I said. Well guys, thanks for watching the video. See you guys next time with a mod video, I hope. work.